began as an avocation. Uh, it is uh, the basis of many, many, many of my friendships. It is uh, the basis of my loyalty for, uh, for my university and my college. Uh, I have made so many friends through the years, not just from my fraternity, but after I became active interfraternally uh, with so many people who have become interfraternity brothers that are just as close to me as were my own uh, fraternity brothers. Uh, I believe that our primary purpose is to our, our primary responsibility is to our members. And then if we inspire them through their membership with us to want to do interfraternity, I mean uh, community service and things like that, uh, then we've met our goal. We've done what we should have done. I am terribly flattered but I'm quite sure that there are people much more worthy than I am out there somewhere. Paul Adams once said, uh, we're no stronger than the weakest of us which if you take that and turn it around, uh, it also indicates that we're all as strong as all of us. And uh, I would hate to try to have a successful fraternity existence without the uh, peers of other fraternities to both support you and for you to support, because I think in that mutual support system, uh, we all gain. Um, I uh, think that I'm a much better person because of uh, the interfraternity work. I know I am. Uh, I highly recommend that everybody uh, try it. Maybe like the ad says, uh, just do it. I feel good about it. Uh, everyone likes to be recognized. Um, I like to think that I have a subdued ego, but uh, all of us have some ego, and uh, uh, I I'd be a fool to say I wasn't very appreciative and thankful. intended to honor those people who have devoted the better part of their lives to the interfraternity movement and who have accomplished uh, something of lasting importance, who have been leaders perhaps in the interfraternity world, who have been dedicated to it, and who uh, hopefully um, can set a pace for us to follow afterwards. Now in that category, I don't really qualify. Somebody mixed up my credentials. And I'm here under false pretenses, but happy to be here under false pretenses. Uh, there didn't any question but what uh, I was dumbfound when I received notice of this. And uh, it's an honor that, um, probably the greatest honor I've ever received in my life. Undeserved, but welcome. And I had a great experience as a SIU undergraduate uh, at Amherst. And I was involved with my chapter's alumni association and it just so happened that uh, uh, I was at a point in my son's secondary school work where I could leave my responsibilities, and so I offered my services to the fraternity, uh, not uh, as a volunteer, you understand, uh, just when uh, our overworked SIU administrator was looking around everywhere for an extra pair of hands, any pair of hands, anybody. No one has been more richly blessed uh, than I and God willing, I will live out my days uh, as an active, actively involved in the fraternity movement uh, and working alongside and among men and women whose service and dedication to young people is a continuing source of inspiration to me. And that's how I got here. Actually, I started uh, to work for my fraternity in 1950, right out of college. And 40 years later, I retired. So fraternity has been my whole life, professional career, personal life. And it's, um, 
I tell people that I've never had a real job in my life. <laughs> people like Ralph Burns of Alpha Sigma Phi, Stu Daniels of ATO, George Chapman of Theta Chi, Scoop Wilkinson of Phi Gamma Delta, Paul Beam of Phi Delta Theta, and I could go on and on. Uh, Jimmy Hammerstein of Sigma Alpha Mu, and George Toll of AE Pi. And when you have mentors like that interested in you and teaching you, you can't help but be interfraternity minded. It seems ironic to be receiving an award for doing something that is so enjoyable. I never considered it work. I'm grateful, obviously, and just overwhelmed by the, uh, by the honor.